Uh, hey y'all, what's up? Um, I don't usually do stuff like this and I haven't posted in like forever, but I'm a pretty huge Doom fan and I noticed that not a lot of people were talking about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and share it, see what y'all think. So, uh, if y'all don't know, Doom Eternal is a game that's coming out based off the, well, it's in the franchise of Doom, which is like probably the best video game ever, uh, me personally speaking, but uh, in that game, you're running around on Mars, you're killing demons, and it's just like the most insane thing ever, and uh, there are a lot of weapons that you use in the game, and I found this pin set on uh, Geek Store, I, th I think, uh, I'll, I'll put the link in the description, so if you want to get it, you can. Because, honestly, this is just, like, a really killer set. But, yeah. Uh, so, I ordered these about in August, I think. And they were supposed to ship in November. But it got delayed just, like, a little bit. So, I didn't get it until, like, uh, really late December. But, yeah. So, here's the case. And it's got, like, a nice little magnetic seal. And these are the pins themselves. So, I think we'll start down here. And I'm not going to be, like, you know, taking them out too much. Because they're it's kind of a hassle. You need both hands to do it and I'm holding the camera so uh, starting off with the ballista this is probably like the weakest of the pins so that's why I'm starting with it um, not that I have anything against the ballista it seems like a really cool weapon I just don't think it translates well to like being a pin it just kind of looks like a metal orgy like that Michael Bay shot on camera like not, at least not here like at the hilt and everything that's, that, that looks pretty solid but over here it's just like you really don't get much sense of depth outside of, like, this part and a few other pieces, but, like, just, like, the engraved parts in the middle. It's just kind of hard to tell what exactly it is without just thinking it's metal origami. So, that's the weakest one. But, you know, it still looks really good, and it definitely stands out. Uh, moving on. So... I actually think that the new machine gun looks really cool, and uh, I this is one of the ones where I wouldn't have mind if they had like painted it. Granted, if they had painted most of these, would have been really cool. But uh, the gun metal really just, or the metallic sheen, lends itself to like looking like gun metal. It's not actual gun metal, obviously, but yeah, you just every detail just looks really awesome in this one, and I I just really love it. So not much to say. Uh, moving on to the rocket launcher, this is definitely my favorite weapon in Doom, like, period, and I just love this redesign, it just looks so fucking cool, especially with, like, the very limited paint apps that actually do work with this, so you got, like, the red within the skull, and you got, like, that power energy bar thing, I don't know specifics, but it just looks sick as hell, and I definitely want to get a tattoo of it, like, now I'm going to use this as reference for the tattoo artist when I get to that. Uh, my second favorite weapon is definitely the plasma rifle, and this is just a little bit of a disappointment, so there's some, like, slight paint scuffage, you know, right there, and I think there's just some, in general, scuffing of the metal around that area like that's not supposed to be there and the the coil part right there it just looks like it's been painted kind of sloppily so yeah that, that that I think that's probably just with mine uh I don't think that's like it with all of them obviously but that's definitely like the weak point of the plasma rifle but you know it still looks really cool uh next we have the chainsaw really not much to speak on here it definitely <laughs> looks like the chainsaw and there's no color added to it, but it looks really fucking nice. Uh, and next, we have the Super Shotgun, which, if you ask me, I think could have been a little bit bigger. I just think that because of the big boy that we're going to get into, it's a, they probably couldn't make it as big as they wanted to, maybe. I don't know. But personally, I just feel like it could be a little bit maybe longer, at least. But that's just me. I love the detail in, the, in like, the hilt right here, or the grip. I don't know. Uh, that looks really nice. And the um, the meat hook right there looks really, it's really great. It's kind of, sorry, the light's kind of reflecting on it weirdly. But, yeah, you can definitely see the gold in it and in the handle. And it just looks really, really awesome. And the BFG. Uh, this one I've actually, like, taken out already and kind of looked around at it. Ooh, man, this is a big boy. The big fucking gun. Wow. Uh, it's definitely really heavy. I tried wearing it on a, on an overshirt 
just a few moments ago, and it was it was really heavy. You just you definitely felt the weight of it, but it looks really nice. It's got like two bits of green, like right there and right there, and it looks really nice. Um, yeah, it's definitely just really awesome pen set in general, and I definitely uh, I know there are like more things. Uh, Doom related by Geek Store. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I would say this is a really nice product. I definitely enjoy it. And it's um, it's by, or it's probably made by Numskull and distributed by um, Geek Store. So that's the site where I got it anyway. But yeah, uh, definitely check it out. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. All right, adios.